Hi everyone. So today is March the 25th and we are having a snowstorm. I'll show you. Yeah. That's how much snow we have already. And it's still coming down as you can see. So I'm sorry, I lied when I said that last week was the last time I was going to film snow because it happened again. <laughs> so anyway, what I wanted to do today is do a very, very, very springtime sort of craft. And it's making out of mason jars a really cute little... Um, vase with a little picture in it and you can make it however you want to there's a lot of different ways to do it but I found this fun idea and I thought I would try it out so <laughs> I was gonna do this craft already but I think even more now that it's snowing so much I want to do a spring craft and I'm not gonna have any flowers to put in it yet but I'm going to make this vase and then very soon I will have flowers and I will put them in there and we're going to let this winter be behind us. So let's go ahead and get started. For this craft, you will need a mason jar. You will need some painter's tape, a paint brush. I don't have a very good one, but um, I left my good one at my friend's house, so I'm gonna be using this one. Then you're going to need some paint. This is the one that was recommended by the um, original re website where I found it and it is the Radiant Orchid by Valspar or something like that I think, I think. yeah and I just happened to run into it I, you can use whatever color you like but I just happened to run into the one that they suggested using so I thought I would just go ahead and get that you can just get the sample size at Lowe's or um, get whatever paint you like and then you're going to need some clear spray paint now I'm not going to be able to spray paint this yet because clearly it's snowing outside and I like to do my spray painting outside for obvious reasons. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with the rest of this project. And one more thing you'll also need is some kind of picture that you're going to want to put in it. Like you you might want to put a picture of you know your family members, your friends, your pets, or just something that you think is pretty whatever you like. But I don't have my picture yet, so I have to look into what I want to use, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on this craft and finish it up later on. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is decide how you want to arrange this vase. Of course, you won't need the top. So what I personally like is to leave the um, mason jar logo kind of on its own, and then the back side is on my mason jars it's this picture and I like to leave that alone. So I like to do my my photo picture on one of the two sides, it doesn't really matter, so I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And then you're going to want to use your painter's tape to make a square where you're going to have your picture. your square you can make any shape you want to but um, obviously a square is the easiest just make make sure it's on really well especially because these jars have ridges and things and you want to make sure you don't get any paint in there so the next thing we're going to do is paint the jar so if you just put it upside down then you won't have to worry about having to turn it while you work and we're just gonna go ahead and paint all over it Okay, once you've finished your painting, the first thing you're going to want to do is immediately take off your painter's tape because otherwise it will congeal to your jar and you'll have a really hard time getting it off later. Alright, this is what it will look like. Here is your square and then the rest of the jar is painted. Now I'm going to go ahead 
and let this all dry probably overnight. All right, so the mason jar has been drying for a couple of days now and the paint is all dry. So the first thing we're gonna do now is put in our picture. Now you can use any kind of picture you like. You can use a photograph, you can print something out, you can use a picture somebody drew. I personally am going to just use some card stock for now. And this picture will be interchangeable, so you know, you can always change your mind and put something else in there. So what we're going to do is just cut out a piece of the cardstock that is about the size of this square and then we're going to tape it inside the mason jar with some more painter's tape. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. we have our picture in our mason jar. The next thing that I'm going to do is distress the lettering and the picture on this side of my mason jar. And at this point, it's really easy to just kind of scrape off the paint because it's not sealed yet. So I just use a regular butter knife and kind of go around and scrape off the paint on all these letters and things. The next thing that I'm going to do is seal the jar. So I have this clear spray paint and um, I'm just going to take the jar outside, spray it with a layer of the spray paint and let it dry. All right, there's my spray painted jar. I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour. Here is the completed jar. So we have the, the picture on this side and then the distressed writing on that side. And then to put flowers in, there's two things you can do. You can either do what I did and just get some fake flowers and arrange them however you like, or you can get real flowers and then you'll want to put a small paper cup inside of here um, to fill up with water because you don't want to damage your picture. So those are your options and I think it turned out really nice. It looks very springtimey, which is what I was going for. So yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.